But hey, you know, you keep working on things, and you, you work on that that girlish figure of yours. Who knows? Maybe you two one day can be Miss Universe. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> this this oh, shit. insanity has gone <laughs> f- far enough. This is real. I, what is it? If you guys have not seen the video, this is the new owner, and I'm 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 gonna butcher the shit out of this. Jackafong, Jack Rajuta Tip. Is he from Thailand or something? J- Juta Tip. Uh, I believe so. Yes. So it's one of those Thailand lady boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Now listen uh, to his voice, man. Good here point. we go. The Miss Universe organization. Uh, From now on, it's gonna be ran by women. Now, not women. We, we men. men. Yeah. <laughs> Owned by a trans woman. Oh. For all women. Sure. Sure. I, what do you even say? For all women really around the world to see. <laughs> And you know where the ratings are going to go after this? <laughs> what, what were the ratings on this one? Uh, don't even know. All right. Don't really care. Okay. To celebrate the power of women. Women, not even women anymore. It's women. This is going to be the new pronunciation, I think, from here on forward. Women. You, uh, you're, you're a weeman? <laughs> You're I got a you. I got you. Maybe that's what he calls uh, what's left of his schwang. Well, downstairs. Sports Illustrated did the same thing in their what in their calendar last year or the year before last. Some <sighs> Sports Illustrated has been burning in <laughs> like a space shuttle <laughs> on reentry. Yeah, like, I mean, they are. The, as far as I'm concerned, Sports Illustrated can go the way of the dodo bird. Like all of these woke companies pulling this BS, they need to get wiped out. Bye bye. And listen, we're starting to see it. Yeah. Well, Hollywood. Of course. 2022, they took an absolute pounding. Everything they put out, all of that woke trash, people shut their wallets and are are not participating. As they shouldn't. All right. And Disney has lost a little over half its stock value. Yeah. And they're they're playing musical chairs with CEOs, and I think they're actually planning to sell Disney to Apple. Oh God! Yeah, uh, that's what I think is happening because they lo- they royally screwed the pooch. I wow. I don't think they can pull back from this, and and quite literally, I want all of America, all of the middle, the guys in the middle, all the conservatives to slam your wallet shut and mancot Disney until it dies on the vine. Yeah, exactly. Same thing with it. you. You see anything in any movie that has any woke horse shit in it? Don't see it. Yeah, just don't. Just I've been shut avoiding. Your I've been avoiding certain studios like the plague, yep. and, and it seems to be I'm not the only one. Because last year, Universal and Paramount cleaned house. Yes, even Sony had its moments. Now that Amy Pascal is kind of like, yeah. Uh-huh. Kind of flapping in the breeze. She allegedly, you know, was the producer on Spider-Man: No Way Home, but we all know who the real mastermind of that actually was, and that was Sony's only real hit the entire year. Yeah, pretty much. But uh, yeah, Universal's cleaning house. They're doubling Disney's take on family films with fewer releases, and Paramount released <laughs> Top Gun: Maverick. I don't need to say anything else. That's right. And, uh, look, I'm serious. If you get a whiff of any woke anything, do not open your wallet for that. I don't care if it's a comic book, a gum wrapper, uh, a coffee shop. You know, get just, just don't do business with them. Uh, what, Gillette? With that bullshit they put <laughs> yeah. up three years? Was it three years ago? Yeah, about three, four years ago almost. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, listen... If they're bad mouthing you as a man, just for being a man, especially if you're a white guy and all you're did, doing is an existing, don't reward them with your money. No, and if you have HBO Max, for the love of God, don't watch Velma. Oh yeah, I, I've been contemplating doing a show on that. Just uh, <laughs> live from the lair. <laughs> I watched Guess by a thousand papers. I've project. watched like. Uh, a couple of a like, critical drinker. There was another guy who did a review on it, and I'm like, do I really want to punish myself? 
I'm not sure you do. Uh, we'll There's see. There's so much good Scooby-Doo content out there that people don't even know exists. And most of it is already on HBO Max. My son is discovering a lot of the older classic stuff. Oh, he's yeah. A, he's avoiding Scrappy Doo. You know, good, good on him. <laughs> I used to watch. <laughs> the rest uh, of it's fine. Scooby Doo was one of my favorite cartoons when I was between the ages of like six and eleven. Yeah, me too. And then I went to uh, what is it? Uh, Space Ghost. Of course, Space Ghost. And then Thundar the Barbarian. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah, I love those shows. Boom. You know, and, and there's so much good entertainment out there i mean that you go back i mean we've been doing the moving pictures now for a hundred years so why even watch anything new when you've got decades and decades of backlog before any of this shit was forced so mainstream into your face that it's all you can see Mm -hmm. go back and watch that shit that's i'm I'm watching babylon 5 right now i've been watching 30 years late i'm watching it i'm re-watching it right now i'm on uh, the middle of season two hell yeah i just uh, hit season four phenomenal uh, yeah, I, maybe one day they'll uh, remake that. And, and make yeah, it more they're talking about remaking it right now. From what I understand, J. Michael Straczynski is in the process of negotiating with the, unfortunately, the CW. Yeah, yeah. Who they was, put out Batwoman. Who is your favorite character? Uh, Mine is Jakar. Yeah, I, I got to go with like Jakar and and Delenn, Yeah, and Jakar. I mean that that dude is just a beast. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I, I'm just watching the one in season four where they beat the shit out of him, give him like thirty lashes with this thing, uh, the neural and, whip, the, the neural whip, and then they, when that doesn't work, they pluck his eye out, and yep. he still breaks the chains that are supposed to be too strong to break, and fucking starts taking on a whole room full <laughs> of Centauri. Yeah, yeah, a car. Yeah, I love that was that was damn good. Yeah, and it's the same actor who plays the one-armed man in one of my favorite movies of all time, The Fugitive. Great fucking movie. He played the one-armed man? Yeah, same actor. Really? He's dead now, you know that, right? Yeah, actually that's like the Babylon 5 curse. Uh, like 85% of the principal cast of Babylon 5 is dead. Yeah, oh, that sucks. Yeah. Sucks just like a ghost vacuum. Well, what are you going to do, man? Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.